Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young. You know, many years ago, I used to mock dudes with man buns. And here I am today, sat in front of all of you on the internet, sporting one proudly. Let this be a lesson to all of you kids out there, not to mock anyone too sincerely for anything ever, because you yourself may one day become the very thing you once mocked. Today is a really exciting video because you get to sit there and watch me take some shoes out of a box and talk about them. And not just any shoes, we have the Adidas Bad Bunny Campus Collab. This is my first Bad Bunny sneaker. It's actually the only Bad Bunny sneaker I've actually ever wanted. I actually downloaded the confirmed app a few weeks ago because I wanted to get my hands on these. I missed out disappointingly, but I was able to come up on these for retail because they were sitting in store downtown in London in Foot Patrol. First of all, let's quickly talk about the Campus. A really cool base model for Bad Bunny to do his thing on. This is a sneaker that started out on the basketball court in the 80s, got repurposed for skating, was appropriated for style and clout by many hip hop aficionados, and actually has a pretty strong lineage of collaborations with people like the House of Pain, Bape, Undefeated, and indeed Foot Patrol, where I picked these up from today. The inspiration for the design comes from the stars, galaxies, and constellations. The colorway is called chalk white aluminium, although in America you guys don't seem to be able to pronounce the last bit of that name correctly. Aluminum. 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 So in terms of the box, it's a pretty beautiful box. You've got the three stripes on the top and then the third eye or the evil eye. When you open up the box, you've got the wording, Yo visto así, which I think means something like uh, this is me or this is what I look like or something like that. The shoes come with a dust bag, which is always a really nice touch. Although I don't know about you guys, but I very rarely ever use the dust bag. And you get an extra set of flat laces in this kind of cream off-white color. Now in the absence of Kanye West and with Beyonce stuff tanking, it has to be said that Bad Bunny is pretty much the only notable collaborator Adidas have right now. And if you look at his portfolio of work, the dude doesn't miss when it comes to sneaker collabs. And these are no exception. You can see the campus in this model, but it has been somewhat redefined, beefed up and reimagined. You have this really thick padding around the ankle collar. You have this extra leather flap on the inside of the heel, adding a little bit more comfort and reinforcement. And it has to be said quality. You have this wavy rubber that runs the length of the sneaker and is supposed to represent the peaks and troughs or the ups and downs of life in the ocean of existence. You've also got the double tongue featuring the third eye or the evil eye on the upper tongue and then the Adidas trefoil logo underneath which is a snapshot situation. And I think all these features combined make for a really nice, balanced, good looking sneaker. One thing about this sneaker that stood out to me when I got it in hand was just how similar these were to another pair that I have, namely the Kanye West Louis Vuitton Dons. You can see them side by side. They do bear a striking resemblance, not just in the color blocking, but also in the design, the leather liner with the extra heel tab on the inside make for a pretty close comparison in my opinion. What do you guys think? In terms of the materials, you've got this really nice hairy suede on the majority of the upper. The three stripes feature a really nice leather. A really nice leather can be found on the liner as well as on the insole of the sneaker, which also features the Adidas logo as well as the Bad Bunny logo. And then you have this padded nylon material that wraps around the outside. And then the classic rubber outsole. I quite like the rope laces that come installed on the pair and they come with BB on the aglets or the tips. What do you call them? Do you call them aglets or tips or do you vacillate between both? All in all, the materials are really nice. The sneaker definitely gives off an elevated sense of quality and the whole monochromatic coloring is super clean. And considering these retailed for 140 pounds or about 165 US dollars, although it is a lot more than the standard campus, it definitely 
definitely feels like you are getting a big upgrade in terms of quality. And so the next thing to do is to chuck them on foot and have a boogie. So let's check them out. I think they look great on feet and they wear really nice. It's definitely a comfortable sneaker. In terms of sizing, it depends on your foot shape, but I would recommend going true to size for these. If you like a more snug fit, you might wanna go a half size down, but I personally went true to size and they are good for me. It's one of those shoes that I feel like once you break them in, they will be really nice to wear. In terms of styling, I think this is one of those types of sneakers that you could easily dress up and put with a more kind of formal type look or you could completely dress them down and just rock with some jogging pants and socks probably my favorite option to be fair but because of how simple and clean and neutral the colorway is i feel like this is the type of sneaker that can go with a whole bunch of outfits in terms of the resale market on these i'm just having a look right now on StockX. the last sale was 192 dollars you can buy a pair right now for 205 dollars so whoever is selling these pairs right now are making parking meter money if you're looking to come up on a pair they really aren't that badly priced in my opinion in terms of collectability i think this is a very collectible sneaker not just because it's a collab or part of the bad bunny adidas genealogy but there are also going to be more bad bunny campuses coming out we saw about a week or two ago the rumored release of an olive colorway set to come out sometime this year and i think these also look really nice and so i'm hoping the hype stays low and the resale stays low because I'll definitely be looking to add the olive to the collection as well. There is my review of the Adidas Bad Bunny Campus. They are a really cool pair of sneakers in my opinion. Really happy to add them to my growing Adidas collection and looking forward to wearing these this summer for sure. The quality is good. The design is good, the comfort is good, easy to wear and match up with all sorts of outfits. So it's definitely a cop for me. And the fact that they aren't going for crazy money on the resale market makes them a really attractive proposition if you're looking to pick a pair up. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do so. Drop a like before you bounce and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care for now and peace.